Okay, so if you've been following my channel, you'll be knowing I've had a bit of trouble with my Bluetooth mouse. You know, my little mouse here, the Apple mouse, just a Magic Mouse 2, the rechargeable one, a little uh, recharging slot. And uh, yeah, it's been driving me nuts. And uh, I thought I came up with a fix. And if you don't haven't seen my fix, I'll leave a link up there. And uh, basically resetting the Bluetooth module and then removing all the devices, repairing them, everything. And it was working working a bit better for a while, and then it started getting getting really laggy again, and, and just getting worse and worse every day. So I was looking into getting like a Bluetooth module, and um, I had one lying around, but it it wasn't Mac compatible, it was uh, Windows compatible, and and um, yeah, just sort of almost gave up. And I was sort of looking at looking at the mouse. And I was looking at the sensor and I thought, oh, maybe the sensor's dirty. And I got the light out, got my little torch out and had a click and yeah, looking, looking, eh, it's looking rather clean, nothing in there, there's no dirt. And I thought, oh, bugger it, I'll just, I'll just clean it anyway. So I got, got one of these little Q-tips or cotton wool buds, all sorts of names for them. And got myself, uh, I've had this for a while basically uh, lens cleaner. I use it for my cycling glasses just to clean them up. So it's basically, it's mainly just alcohol, a little bit of, I think it's got a little bit of detergent or something in it. Should be pretty safe. Um, it says specifically for cleaning glass and hard resin spectacle lenses, which is basically what the lens of the uh, Apple mouse is. So Apple recommend you don't, you know, spray directly into the mouse. So just spray a little bit Spray a little bit on the uh, Q-tip. So you put a little bit on the Q-tip, then uh, clean the clean the mouse out, clean the little hole, clean it up. Doo -doo -doo. And you can also flip it over and use the other side just to dry it if you want. And that seems to have done a lot of good because I haven't missed a beat since since I cleaned the sensor, hasn't missed a beat. So hopefully between the other video and cleaning the actual sensor, even though it didn't look dirty at all, there's no hair in there, no dust, no nothing. Might have just, I don't know, maybe when I picked it up, maybe maybe my thumb print got on there or something and created some sort of diffraction effect. Who knows? But anyway, just cleaning it, cleaning it with uh, recommend Probably the best bet is isopropyl alcohol. If you haven't got that, everyone's usually got some sort of lens cleaner. And uh, yeah, just use a bit of that. You don't want it too soapy or anything. Just the alcohol is the best one because um, that just dries very quickly. So you don't have any residue. You want it as clean as you can. And it's been working really good ever since. So there we go, guys. So I do a short video. That's only three minutes there. And uh, yeah, hopefully that sorts your problems out too. Um, you know me, I try different things and then update them and tell you what's working, what's not. So yeah, the the fix of the Bluetooth wasn't really fixed yet. So it could have been a dirty sensor to start with in the beginning. Who knows? But uh, just give them all a go, you know. Try them all out. Uh, no harm. Doesn't cost you anything and it's very quick. And uh, yeah, give it a go. Uh, leave your comments below because a lot of people are having trouble with their Bluetooth mouth, and it, it could could very well just be the sensor. Just clean clean the optical sensors that might do the trick. So spread this video around, like, subscribe, share it around, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.